Huh? Live from the Jersey Shore to the world. Get up, get out, do something. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. Take the show wherever you go. Download the free Radio Pup app for your smartphone or tablet. Join the conversation. 732 505 1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM, AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. It is 609, 44 degrees, heading up to 54 today. March 16th, hump day. Happy Wednesday. WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. News Talk Radio streaming live on the Radio Pop app and WOBMAM.com. 732-505-1160 if you want to join the conversation. Uh, if you missed it before, uh, there is a slight chance of rain between 6 and 7 p.m. tonight. It's about a 40% chance of rain. Zach and I will keep you updated throughout the throughout the morning as to if those numbers change. We are joined now by Jay Philippone, owner of the Natural Foods General Store here in beautiful Tom's River. Good morning, Jay. Good morning, Jeremy. Thanks are, for having me. Oh, listen, thanks for coming in. You, uh, you're you one leg up on yesterday's 6 a.m. guest uh, <laughs> who didn't call, didn't come in, just completely left me at the altar. Uh, but it's okay, as long as I still have Megan Kelly. Uh, so, Jay, you uh, own the Natural Foods General Store, which has been which has been here for how long? I opened in April of 1976. Wow. So I will be celebrating my 40th anniversary next month. And, and you have a big 40th anniversary bash planned? We do have something planned. I think we're going to push it until May and, and have something in our parking lot. Uh, and so we're going to wait until May where the weather's a little bit more predictable. Right. So it's it's nice when uh, when it's a, a birthday for a business, you could push the birthday. Because, you know, for <laughs> us, we can't say, no, I, I don't want to be 43 until... <laughs> Let's let's you know. It's, I know my birthday's in September. Let's wait till December for that. Let's hold off as long as we can. Um, okay, cool. So why don't you tell folks uh, what what is your specialty? What do you guys kind of do day to day? What will they find when they open the door to uh, to the general store? Well, I think when they open the door, they'll they'll be surprised to find that we we're actually bigger than we look. We we, we kind of look like a little red barn outside. But when you come in, we have a lot of food. We, we have everything crammed in there. And we sell organic foods. We sell um, everything from cereals to pastas to frozen, refrigerated, organic produce. We even have sandwiches. We make lunches to go. So we have all the local people coming in and getting uh, fresh wraps and green salads. And we try to make everything fresh. We make soups every day. Um, we sell cosmetics. We sell lotions and vitamins and supplements. So it's it's, it's been a 40-year process of change and growth, a lot of products that, I mean, when we first started, I had barrels with bags of oatmeal and brown rice. And really? 60-pound containers of honey that we would siphon into one-pound jars. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, so so nat- the, the whole natural food and, you know, organic thing that really didn't become that didn't really become hip until what like the late 80s i mean it's taken a long time I mean, products that we sold originally we they were the only, we were the only place that had them i mean the supermarkets didn't really want them right uh, now our product is has got such an acceptance that you can buy organic foods anywhere and everywhere i mean you can you can go to restaurants and you'll see organic on the menu you'll see gluten-free, you'll see vegetarian. Right. Uh, products that we only had back then are now just so readily accepted and are found everywhere. So has that co- has that made it more difficult for you or or is it easier for you now that it's kind of more mainstream and, and more folks are, are kind of hip to it? Uh, it's It's been both. I mean, we there's so many more people that will buy our foods and then they're also available in so many more places. But it's been great because... I mean, we stay as cutting edge as possible. We get the newest products. I have a fairly small store, 3,500 square feet. I'm able to buy the newest products the day they become available. I don't have to worry about cutting them into my store, putting them into a computer system, a planogram. Right. I mean, I can just pick up anything new that I that I want immediately and, and have it in the store. And so where how do you do, where do you do your research? I mean, where are you finding the newest uh, the newest stuff? I mean, I have manufacturers that I buy from and distributors that I buy from that have representatives that come into my store and show me new products. 
Every month I get, I get catalogs with new products listed and pictures. I go to conventions uh, to see new products as well. Cool. So is there anything that you that you carried in your store that you're super proud of the fact that you kind of hit that before the rest of the world kind of started to get it? Well, I mean, I think the biggest thing lately are all the gluten-free products. And for people that don't know, gluten is a protein that's found in certain grains, particularly wheat. And a lot of people are intolerant of that. They, they either have celiac, which is a disease where right. they can't digest the wheat, um, or it just bothers their digestive system. So, I mean, years ago we had a few products and there would be occasionally you'd get someone that would come in for those products, whether it's a bread or pasta, uh, anything that's made with wheat. Now there's so many products everywhere and there you can find gluten-free products uh, manufactured by Betty Crocker and, right. and, you know, major, major companies that uh, – at one time, we'd never have had them, and now there's such a demand for them that that everyone has them. Okay, and and how many folks do you have working for you? Uh, working for you there? I have 12 people that I employ, and uh, I I have some people that have been with me for 30 plus years. Yeah. So it's it's wonderful. It's like you know I try to create a family atmosphere in my store. I try to make it very welcoming to my customers and my employees. We have a good time. We get a lot of work done. But we have fun. So let me ask you a question. If if so, let's say, so let's say um, you have you know you have an employee you know twenty something year old kid, right? And uh, and he goes out to lunch, right? And he's coming back. I assume you have some kind of a break room or like a little spot where the you know folks can uh, can grab you know can eat something for a few minutes, take a load off, and and get back in the game, right? Oh, of course. Okay, good. So let's say that that little Jimmy. Uh, comes back from lunch and he's brought a bag um, of McDonald's, right? Which is just a stone's throw away from your from your uh, from your store. Is is he not allowed back in the store? Is he shamed out of the place? <laughs> I mean, how does that work for Jimmy? Is he? I mean, is this is this a form of bullying? Tell me. <laughs> um, I would have to say that not everyone that has worked for me um, is into natural foods when they began. I mean, we have customers that would look at some of the products. I mean, we have employees that would look at some of the products of like tofu and right. they, would say, they would be something that they would never touch. Right. But I mean, we, we also make food in our store. We make fresh soups and, and we make a lot of fresh products using our ingredients. And, you know, we've gotten a lot of converts uh, in our store. So what you're saying is that there's no so 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 by not telling me what would happen to Jimmy coming back with his with his Big Mac you've kind of implied to me that it would be frowned upon within the store. And you've also said that there'd be no reason for Jimmy to go get that Big Mac because he would be so much more pleased with himself and his positive food choices by eating something from your, from your store. Well, I think Jimmy would probably feel guilty if he came back with a Big Mac as I have felt guilty (laughs) when I've walked into a supermarket and had a customer of mine from the natural food store to look in my cart to see what really? I what I have. Oh, uh, now that <laughs> sounds interesting. All right, we are with Jay Philippone, owner, Natural Foods General Store. Uh, we have to take a break. When we get back, uh, Jay's going to talk to us about how he got involved in this because I'm pretty sure that when he was growing up as a small child, he wasn't thinking, "God, one day I want to own a natural foods general store." We'll be right back with uh, Jay Philippone. Get more. Wake up with. Welcome back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310, streaming on the Radio Pup app and at WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160. We're talking to Jay Philippone, owner of Natural Foods General Store uh, on uh, Bachelor Street. Bachelor, Bachelor. Bachelor and Route 37. Bachelor and Route 37. Uh, I actually had a mind block if it was Bachelor Street or Bachelor Avenue. I don't, I, these are the things that go through my head and keep me up at night. Uh so Jay, tell us what what was your inspiration? Where did forty years ago, forty one years ago, you decide that you wanted to open up uh, a general store like this? Well, I I, I decided um, after high school to to move out of the area for a few years and and try to move down to Florida. So I moved down to Florida, I, and I was jumping from job to job. Um, and meeting different people, but eating out the way most people do, having an egg sandwich in the morning, have you know, having something out 
fast food for lunch and going out again for dinner and, and not particularly feeling well about that. Um, and at that time, I met a group of people that were vegetarian. And that kind of introduced me to vegetarian foods, eating a different way, um, going to their house, getting home-cooked meals. And um, at that point in my life, I, as I said, was doing various jobs. Um, I worked in a bakery. I worked as a land surveyor. Um, I sold honey. And in, in, those, in that last job selling honey, I would go to health food stores. And um, it, it was at that time that I got a part-time job in a health food store and started to listen to people that would come in and talk about what they were eating and how it made them feel better or they were taking supplements. And um, shortly after that, I moved back to New Jersey and just thought, you know, this is something that we could use in the Ocean County area. And uh, it's at that point that I opened the store. So why did you, okay. All right. So there's a lot of problems I have with this story. I'm just (laughs) just telling you right off the bat. Number one, when you say selling honey, that's not a euphemism for something else, right? You were actually selling honey. I was actually going to beekeepers. I just want to make sure I got that right. Okay. But it was a time where uh, I probably had long hair. Okay. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Good. All right. Wasn't sure where I. I just. I. I wanted to remind you that this is a family show, and we try and. Uh, you know, we try and uh, appeal to to the right folks. Okay. Good. Now, you're telling me that you you uh, met a group of vegetarians, and you didn't think it was a cult of some kind. Well, it may have been. Okay, but you were okay <laughs> with that at the time. Okay. Got it. I just want to. Again, I'm just just trying to make sure. And then the last part of your story that I get confused on is you moved back from Florida. Well, um, yeah, it was time for me to come back. I wanted to come home, be closer to my family. Okay. So you came home because you wanted to be closer to your family. Because I, I always wonder I always wonder when folks move from these warm, uh, sunny climates and then they're back for the first uh, for the first December, January, uh, back in New Jersey, going why? Why, why <laughs> did I do that? Okay, so you came back and and you had you had the you had uh, you had seen the light that you wanted to uh, to promote your own healthy lifestyle uh, through this kind of an endeavor. I did. I, I felt like this was something that um, I could get behind. I could be passionate about. Um, and, you know, I had real interest in, I, I thought to have my own business would be wonderful. So I took a shot. And, and it's obviously worked out okay for you 40 years later, right? It has. It's, it's, you know, it was a struggle at first. I mean, the first couple of years I lived in a winter rental on the beach and I camped at a campground in the summer for first two years that I had the business. So it, it was difficult. It was a couple dollars an hour. It right. was putting everything back into the business. I was running it myself. I had no employees, um, so I was there. I was only open six days a week because I it was the only way to get a break. It was right. to be closed on Sunday. Um, but I've, I went from that 600 square feet to about 3,500 square feet. I now own the building, um, and the business has grown and grown, and it's... Uh, you know, it's been it's still fun. I still am involved. I do all the ordering and receiving of products. Uh, I do whatever is, has to be done in the store. Absolutely, and that's and that's really the key to being a, uh, a business owner, right? And so, so anyone that thinks you just open up and it's uh, it's the land of milk and honey, see what I did there? It doesn't <laughs> it doesn't just happen like that. It's a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, a lot of of time where you're uh, barely stringing it together. Uh, Jay Philippone, owner. Natural Foods General Store. When we get back, I'm obviously going to hand you the uh, Wake Up with Jeremy Grunt and Magic Wand so you can make an impact. Um, I'd like to hear from you uh, about some of the challenges you've seen as a, as a business owner, what you love about the Jersey Shore. Um, and uh, we'll talk a little bit more about, uh, about how things are going in the, uh, in the uh, natural foods uh, industry. All right. Uh, Jay Philippone. Natural Foods General Store in Tom's River. Be right back. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. The news never stops at WOBMAM.com. Get the latest from WOBM News, the Town Square, New Jersey News Network, and Fox News Radio. Wake up with Jeremy Grunin. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Live from the Bob Levy Broadcast Center, overlooking the Tom's River, it's time to get up, get out, do something. 
Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin. Be a part of the show, 732-505-1160. News Talk Radio, WOBM AM 1160 and 1310. Listen online at WOBMAM.com. Welcome back. Wake Up with Jeremy Grunin, March 16th. 44 degrees, getting all the way up to 54 634 in the morning, WOBM AM 1116, 1310 News Talk Radio, streaming live on the Radio Pup app and WOBMAM.com, 732-505-1160 if you want to join the conversation. We are joined by Jay Philippone, owner of Natural Foods General Store here in Tom's River. Jay. Jay, Jay, Jay. That's my dad's name, by the way. So, uh, Jay, what would you, uh, What first of all, what is it that you really uh, love about the Jersey Shore? I mean, what what makes running a business here so rewarding for you? I mean, being here is wonderful. I mean, we have the ocean. We have just, it's just a great place to live. We can hike. We have woods. We're, we're, you know, we're just in a great spot. I mean, this is where people go when they want to go on vacation. Right. And we get to live here year round. So it's, it's a great spot. Um, you know, we have a lot of people that come down. So we, we get, you know, extra business in the summer. Um, what else can you say about the Jersey Shore? It's it's just a great great place, and right. I really appreciate it. Well, so, what would you tell a um, a young entrepreneur who knocks on your door and says, "Jay, listen, I'm thinking of opening my own store, my own uh, my own venture." Uh, you know, what 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 knowledge would you impart to me? What pearls of wisdom would you give to someone uh, someone uh, starting out that way? Well, if they ha- they have to have passion for what they do. I think if you really love what you do, then you'll put your heart and soul into it. Uh, you know, just to, that would be the most important thing to me. You have to make sure you have enough financing. That's, right. you know, practically. I mean, I think you have to carefully figure out what it's going to cost to run your business, start your business, and then probably double it. <laughs> right. Because there's going to be a lot more expenses and things are going to come up and perhaps you're not going to have the business that you thought you were going to have at the beginning and you still have to pay your overhead and your employees and yourself. Um, but I think if you're passionate and you really love what you're doing and, and you can provide a service that people actually come to you for, you know, that's wonderful. I mean, I've never really, I've advertised, but I've never really had to sell my products because I felt like the people that wanted what I sold would find me and come to me. Sure. And then I provide those products for them. And as products have become more and more available, we just have that much more available for our customers. So so with the closing of Bob Kislin's almost across the street from you, had have you thought, I mean, do you have a plan for what happens for the next generation? Is there like is there is there an heir apparent to the uh to the to the uh, general store uh, business, like, is there someone lined up that's going to continue the legacy, or are you still are you still accepting applications? For that? <laughs> well, I am still accepting applications, but I mean, I think that I'm. I've been there 40 years, but I still feel I'm young enough to be there. Oh, listen, I'm not trying to push you out or anything. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, it's. Uh, you I know. would love to see my store continue when I'm gone, and if that means. Uh, an employee or um, someone taking it over that's been there for a long time, I, I would love to make that available to them. So so uh, to all of your employees who are either listening to this live um, or are going to listen to it on the YouTube, um, you know, you need to talk to Jay and you need to start being extra nice to him over the next few years because there are opportunities that may avail themselves to you. Anyway, that's all I'm going to say on that. Uh, <laughs> Jay, I'm going to give you your magic wand now. Let me just get it out. Uh, I have it in my wand box over here. Uh, and uh, and so if you could make an impact, change one thing, do something for the community or for the business or for anything, uh, what would you do if you could just kind of shake your wand at it? Uh, you know, somehow make it so much more affordable for everyone. I think that is perhaps the biggest uh, negative is that, you know, when people think of natural foods or health foods, they think it's going to be more expensive and, and, and not possible for them. And, you know, we do have products that are more expensive, but we also have products that are very inexpensive. So I think, you know, it's a little bit of a misconception, but if, if we could just make everything more affordable so that everyone could eat well 
that would be what I would like to see happen. And I'm sure you have, I'm sure you at some point over 40 years have said something to the effect of, let me tell you something, you're spending a couple dollars more for healthy alternatives today. It's going to save you plenty of money in the long run uh, on those, uh, on the cost of health care that you won't, uh, that you won't need because you're doing the right things for your body today. Well, you know, we all choose what we do with our money. Right. And I mean, people, some people spend tens and twenties and $30 and $50 on lottery tickets right. every day or week. People spend money on going out to eat. So, I mean, we all make choices and I think healthy choices, spending your money on good food, organic foods, uh, I think is really a smart choice. Right. Well, and listen, I agree with you. That's why I only drink naturally aged scotch. <laughs> and it's a, it's only a single malt because I don't want to I don't want those blends because I feel like they're not as healthy for me as a person. I'm just everything in moderation. Right, exactly. Everything in moderation. Uh Jay, if somebody wanted to learn more or if they wanted to find you or if you have a website, what would they do? Where where do they absorb more knowledge about the uh, Natural Foods General Store? Well, they could stop by. We're at 675 Bachelor Street in Tom's River, New Jersey. Um, they can also find us at naturalfoodsgeneralstore.com, and we're also on Facebook. Great. So we can like you on Facebook. You can like us on Facebook, and we'll tell you what we're making in our cafe, you know, in our our sandwiches every day, what fresh soups we're having that we put on Facebook every day. And your sandwiches, are they, are they vegetarian or do you have? Uh, we, we do n uh, not all vegetarian. We do a lot of vegetarian, but we have chicken uh, that we use that's hormone free, antibiotic free. Um, and we, so it's not completely vegetarian. Okay, good. Uh, Zach, have you, uh, have you been to the uh, Natural Food General store? I have not yet, Zach, but I will be going now. Zach, that's super disappointing. Zach, I'm going to hook you up. I know what to get you now for um, yes. for uh, for National Producer Day. Yes. I don't know what day that is, but we're going to figure that out, and we're going to get you a gift card uh, to Jay's store. Oh, Jay, thank you. Jay, no, no, thank you, <laughs> Zach. Thank you. Uh, Jay Philippone, owner, Natural Foods General Store, thank you for spending some time with us this morning, uh, and, uh, and certainly – educating our listening audience on uh, on a great offering here at the Jersey Shore. Thanks for having me. All right, cool. We'll be right back after this.